Fellas, AC here. Welcome to another review. Today I'm talking about a Mansera. Mansera Saharian Wind. Released last year, 2020. Mansera. Mansera fragrances have a special place in my heart. And I think many people like Mansera fragrances. There are a couple of reasons. Number one, their fragrances have great performance and they smell really good. It's a good value for money. Entry level niche fragrances, which people appreciate a lot. And this one is not doing anything radical, but it's a very good fragrance. I've got a decant here, 5 ml decant, and I've used up about, I don't know, 3 ml. I've worn it all through late summer, all through autumn, and now nearing winter. And I was really impressed by this fragrance. First time I smelt it, I thought, wow, this is a winner. And I still think it's a winner. I've worn it more than 10 times. And the moment you smell it, the moment you first just experience it, you realize Saharian wind. Now, Sahara. Sahara is a dry, hot place, right? So you would expect something like a dry fragrance. And this fragrance isn't dry at all. It's as if you are sitting in an oasis and enjoying the warm wind but, but also the produce of the oasis. It's very juicy, it's very bright, spicy, but nothing in it tells me it's Sahara. Nothing. Still, the fragrance is amazing. So when you first smell it, it opens a very sour, very fruity sourness. Yeah? And almost um, as if there's a uh, a sort of an orangey, mango-like combination. Nondescript, fruity, very juicy, and then spices. Along with the spices, there's a, um, a very playful, designer-like note of leather. So leather, spices, fruity juiciness. It's lush. This fragrance is very juicy, and it's very tart, sour. Yeah, A little bit of sweetness creeps in later on. At the moment, it's very, very zesty, almost like a summer fragrance, but mixed with spices and leather. The fragrance in its middle stages becomes a little bit herbal. There's a note of cypress, and that cypress note brings in the green vegetable-like um, herbalness to it. And then it's mixed with lily of the valley, which brings in a little powderiness. And I really enjoy opening, middle, I love the middle as well. And middle stages is when the leather actually shines a little bit more yeah a little bit more leather just pops up a little bit more but that leather is not like leather of you know um, 70s fragrance it's more like leather which is designed light leather you know more like a suede dry leather yeah and then you in, in the base the fragrance again brings in two or three good notes tobacco being one becomes a tobacco dominant scent yeah slight Dominance of tobacco with little powderiness, a um, little bit of amber, ambery warmth, slight hint of woody vetiver. So the fragrance is constantly dry, never loses that tangy tartiness, um, has lily of the valley powderiness, ambery warmth, tobacco, so all sorts of notes. Uh, cypress as well, which is very interesting in this fragrance. All these notes, you know, spicy, tangy, little leather, slight tobacco domination, woody notes, um, juicy powderiness, if there's such a thing. All these notes create a very unique experience, which I really enjoyed. So this is a good fragrance. Now, ups and downs. Number one pro of this fragrance. Fra a fragrance is very unique. As I explained, all these notes create a different kind of a sensation. And you can't really pinpoint and say this fragrance is similar to this, that, the other. No, no, no. It's a very unique scent, right? And also very creative. Number two, uh, upside if you like. It's a creative scent. It's got this lush um, tartiness to it. It has this uh, designer like leather. It's nice tobacco, spices, um, hint of ambery warmth. It's very creative in nature. Unique smelling, creative. Third one would be the ease of wearing this fragrance. I've worn this through late summer, autumn, now nearing winter. I've never felt that I was wearing a fragrance which is out of season. It's a very wearable, versatile, 
easy to wear, um, easy to like kind of a fragrance. And that brings me to the fourth upside. I can really easily compliment a person wearing this fragrance. I wouldn't have any doubts about um, the taste of the person. The person will definitely get a compliment from me. It smells unique, it smells nice, well blended, it's not cheap, really nice, very good fragrance. Downsides. Um, the fragrance, because it's powdery, because it's so fruity, fleshy, sometimes in hot weather or warm evenings, um, gave me the impression it's a unisex fragrance when I was wearing it in late summer. So it turns unisex. If you live in a hot country and you don't like unisex fragrances leaning feminine, you might want to wear it in cooler times. Yeah, It turns a little bit feminine when it's warm. Now it's cold, I don't get any of that feminine leaning uh, uh, unisex feel, if you see what I mean. So that's the downside, number one downside. Number two downside, you could say that, you know, this fragrance basically doesn't do anything which is center stage. So it's a mixed mash of everything. It doesn't, you can't pin it down to a tobacco fragrance. You can't pin it down to a leather fragrance. It's a mix of many things producing a unique sensation. So if you're looking at the notes breakdown and saying this is a tobacco fragrance, I think you'll be misled. Tobacco dominates a little bit. But it's not really something that you can say, this is a tobacco or a leather or a woody oriental. It's a mixed mash of everything and it's a very wonderful one. I really enjoy it. So those are two downsides if you like. Minor, second one is a minor one. Uh, first one could be an issue if you're looking for a, a masculine scent. Seasons to wear this, I think apart from summer, evening time, any season, any time of day. So spring, autumn, winter. If you live in a very cold country, you will enjoy it even more. So extremely wearable, apart from one season. Evening time, summer, maybe. It turns a little bit feminine on me. You could try it out. Uh, age groups, any age groups. I would happily recommend this to a 20-year-old chap and to a 50-year-old or 60-year-old gentleman. Not a problem. One of those most wearable compliment magnets and very enjoyable, easy to wear fragrance, right? And uh, occasions, any occasion. You can wear this to an office. You would not stand out or you wouldn't look out of place. Wear this to a date whether it's to a friend circle, party, cinema, anything, you know, it's really uh, a Swiss knife of fragrance. And I use that word when I reviewed Cedrat Boise. So quite easily one of those fragrances where you, you can pull this out anytime. Uh, performance. Now, this is the problem area. This fragrance doesn't project as much as I would like to. Uh, fragrance is dense, rich, hence I like the the warmth and the layers in the fragrance, but I was slightly disappointed by the lack of projection. Projection stops in about one hour's time. It smells so good, I would want it to project a bit more. Because of all those sprightly notes in there, I didn't get the projection. So projection is after one hour, it really comes close to your skin, almost a skin scent, I would say. You would have to do this. And when you do this, obviously you're greeted to a wonderful scent, but it sits close to your skin. Um, Siage, medium to high, I would say. When you wear it under your shirt, you move around, you get that um, whiff of the scent. Uh, I haven't tested whether it leaves a trail or not. Uh, longevity, good longevity. I get at least six hours, six to eight hours, yeah? Depending on the time of the year you're wearing it. So it's medium to high kind of a longevity. Price point, value for money, decent value for money. Uh, you can get Manceras, if you look at in, in discounters online, you could get this for about 80 pounds for 120 ml. So I would say value for money is pretty decent. For the scent that this is, I wouldn't mind spending that kind of money. That is like high-end designer range, right? I can easily spend this kind of money for a scent like this. So, marks out of 10. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. This is one of those fragrances that doesn't have uh, that doesn't get dominated by a certain note. But in spite of that, it creates a unique sensation and it smells really good. It's one of those very attractive fragrances that has interested me a lot. So 8 out of 10. Hope you enjoy the review, fellas. Take care. Bye-bye.